We are about to spend the next week on board this Virgin Voyages cruise ship. I'm very excited. Let's get going. Thank you. So we've now checked in, got our room number and our band, and we're about to board the ship after going through security, which I didn't realize we had to do. But we waited 15 minutes to join the queue because our slot time is 2.15. Get here on time or late because they won't let you in before your slot time. This cruise ship is massive. Look at all these rooms. So we've got a balcony room up here. I'll explain a bit more about that later. Let's get on board. This place is huge. <laughs> We're gonna find our room now. Whoa! Oh my god, the room's massive actually. Huge, I think we've got a big one. <laughs> oh my god! Made it into our room and it's actually massive. But with Virgin Cruises, you can bid on upgrades. So we actually bid and won to upgrade to a balcony room. So let's check it out. We were gonna be in an insider, which is like not so great. And this is our balcony with a classic virgin swing. Wow. So that's where we just checked in from. Our taxi dropped us here. We went in here, waited in this hall for 15 minutes, and now we're on board. This is crazy. Wait, how'd you... Wait. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Welcome aboard Virgin Voyages. So I was just messing around and I found the little iPad that controls the whole room, the lights and everything, and we have to watch a safety briefing on the TV before we can start. Oh, nice. Blanket. I've never seen a safety video like this before. Okay, so we've chilled out a little bit now because we've got super excited, but when you first get on the boat, you use the Virgin Voyages app to start booking the activities that you can do on the ship, and they are pretty crazy. There are so many different parties and bars and clubs and everything, so we're just booking some activities. What did we just book? Oh, we booked the Mexican restaurant, Test Kitchen, uh, Gombe. We booked the Sail Away Party, we booked the Circus Show, we booked... Everything. <laughs> so, so tonight we're going to a circus show and we've booked the Mexican restaurant as well. Now we're going to check out the ship and get some lunch. Right, so we're gonna go and grab some food because we are pretty hungry. We're going to Deck 15 and the Italian restaurant. I don't know if this is normal for a cruise, but we've come to like the buffet area and it's insane. There's so many different food restaurants. I don't know if this is normal for a cruise ship because this is the first time I've ever been on one, but this is mental. There is like 10, 15 different restaurants all around here. There's a few that are also open 24 hours a day, but I've gone for a breakfast. At television or on the Virgin Voyages app. We've decided to take the stairs because I think we're gonna be eating a lot on this trip. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Honestly, so far I'm so impressed. This is sick. So as we were eating food, the app actually showed us that we need to go to our emergency meeting point to be like inducted to the ship. So we're gonna go and do that now, but that just shows you how the whole ship is like interacting as one with the app coming up. And the announcement came over the speaker system on the boat. It's crazy. And then we're gonna follow these ones. Right? The reason is because you need to know who to ask for. Wow, it's windy. So we had our safety induction, they just went through with life jackets and stuff. These are the pods that you get in if anything happens, which it won't. <laughs> and now we're just taking a little walk around the outside of the ship. Windy. It is windy. We leave soon and we have the sail away party. So we've made it to the top of the ship and there's a pool up here, there's some jacuzzis. We're now having a fire alarm test so we know where to go. My mind is just blown, this is insane. This is literally like a massive hotel resort on water. I've never done a cruise before <laughs> and this is insane. Sailors must have completed our safety drill. If you have not yet completed the safety drill, now is the time to do so. Oh my god, it's mad, you can really see everything. I can see into these people's apartments. <laughs> it's pretty windy up here, we've come to like the outdoor gym bit and this is a running track up here that goes all the way around the top of the ship. What do you think? It's insane. <laughs> Oh 
We've made it onto the running track at the top. <laughs> We just went to a very well equipped gym, but there's a couple of people already doing a gym session, which I think is pretty psychopathic for the first hour on a cruise ship. Few minutes time, we're gonna make a toast. Oh, you naughty. May your journey be filled with excitement and fun. We have now finished the sail away party. It's about two hours afterwards and we've got a dinner reservation at the Mexican restaurant next. But look at this toilet. Mansion Club after our meal. The meal was amazing actually, wasn't it? What? What? Oh, the manor. The food was really good, it's like top tier restaurant. woken up in Santorini which is our next stop today but last night we got some food at the Mexican restaurant and it was amazing all the foods included as much as you want but obviously you pay for the drinks after that we went to the Red Room and saw an amazing show there was area lists it was like a full 45 minute hour long show with dancing performing good story and actually really funny and for adults so highly recommended but now we're gonna jump on one of these little ships because the boat can't dock in such a small town this is our little boat over here that we're about to get on. We're running to catch the boat out of here. So that was the carnage of getting into Santorini off of a cruise. Everyone's jumped off these little boats and there's hundreds of people all trying to get up this big hill. Virgin gave us free tickets to go on the cable car, but the wait was about two hours. So instead we're walking ourselves up to here. It's gonna be hard. Excited? No. You can take a donkey for 10 euros. They look pretty sad. We're gonna make ourselves sweat instead. There's our boat over there. God. So after about 540 steps and 28 minutes, we've made it up into Mykonos. Uh, not Mykonos, Mykonos Santorini. Santorini. Really hard work actually, but at least we didn't have to queue for two hours. Now we're going to check it out. We've made it to the pretty much the top of Santorini and there's some pretty epic views of this island. I didn't realize how compact all these houses and shops and things are, but we're making it up to the last bit, which is like the blue church type building thing. So we decided to walk down the hill again, which only took us 20 minutes this time, but still pretty challenging because the cable car was gonna be another 20 minutes. Now we're jumping on our little boat to take us to our massive cruise ship and we're gonna continue the adventure. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the series because we're gonna be going to loads of different Greek islands and checking out the full ship in detail with a guide on exactly how to do it. This was just a bit of a first impression and a very exciting one of what it's like on the Virgin Cruise. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you guys somewhere in Greece next time. Boom.